Hey guys, you might wonder how I end up here. My friends got confused when they saw my Instagram story and asked what I was doing in a high school in Hanoi. Some even thought that I have moved here and got a job. The truth is, I was teaching English in the middle and high school as a volunteer for a month in Hanoi. <laughs> I want to share a glimpse of this fantastic experience with you, starting with a warm welcome from the CSDS staff when I arrive at the volunteer house. Yay! Yay! These are the staff of CSDS. This is Mama Hua. <laughs> Here's my dorm room. This is where I plan my lesson plan and work on my YouTube videos. So like and subscribe if you haven't already. The best part of living in the volunteer house. We have two nannies who prepare excellent home cooked meals for us daily. Imagine waking up to breakfast, coming home to lunch and dinner, ready to serve. I was spoiled. So from Monday to Friday, I taught at NTT Middle and High School. On average, I have four classes a day, two in the morning and two in the afternoon. And on the weekend, I explore Hanoi and the nearby hotspot. So, how has this experience changed me? Well, first, I'm now a professional motorbike passenger. Trust me, this is more intense than a roller coaster ride. I met many interesting people at the volunteer house and learned more about their countries. The biggest shocker is how affordable and reasonable it is to attend college in the UK and other European countries. We also have random accent lesson like this one at dinner time. Geordie accent, so uh. this is me, okay? Where I live, like, ask me a question, I'll ask you a question, uh, and then and I'll say something, and if you agree with it, you say why I. So, Kiyoma, your hair is purple, why I? And you say why I do it, okay? So, Kiyoma, is your hair purple? Yes. Good. <laughs> 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 Vietnamese people are among the friendliest people in Asia. They make me feel at home. So on days I decided to stay at school for lunch, a school lunch somehow magically appeared. The teachers are super friendly and welcoming. One of the English teachers, Miss Min, even invited us to her home for dinner. Students will give teachers homework, like a 69-page book with talks about tales and 96 math problems. Also, being a teacher is truly a thankless but rewarding job at the same time. Let me explain. You want every student to learn something from the class, but the truth is that not all of them are interested in the subject. On the other hand, when you see the light bulbs goes up in their heads from something you said, you know you did something right. And look at the notes I got. This is a new kind of travel experience for me. Volunteering aboard can contribute to the changes that you care about and gain new skills and work experience. You also experience new culture and perspective while creating lasting bonds. To all the teachers and students at NTT School, Thank you so much for inviting me to your school and allowing me to relive my childhood memories. And to all my students, keep exploring your interests, your hobbies, and don't be afraid to try new things. Remember, life is not just about school and homework. So stay curious, stay humble, and be creative. I'll miss you.